Hello everyone, I just thought I'd give a little look at these here, new gauntlet, say new, we'll find out in a minute how new it is, from AZ Model, part of the uh, group, and those bits from the, what used to be called Eastern Europeans, this is got the different decals that you've got off uh, on the back. And the usual kit is very much like uh, KPM. It belongs to the same group of companies as that. So I'll open it up and I'm looking forward to this because I like the Gladiator and this is the predecessor of Gladiator. Let's put it to one side a moment. Get a nice little uh, set of decals. Nice and clear and well presented. So they're pretty good. No problem with those. You got the uh, film acetate version of the canopy, well, the um, windscreen. You know, it looks slightly different too. So it doesn't really say which one is a Mark One or a Mark Two gauntlet screen. Might just be me thinking they're different, different but uh, has to be cut and shaped. Now, very simple sprue map, and again, there's no pin holes for this uh, to be stuck on together. You'd think there is an extra part there, but that's this part being assembled. Um, and again, it's pretty straightforward. Some of the um, perspective drawings are a bit strange in a way because. They look out of shape, don't they? But uh, it's a way of presenting them, I suppose. Unusual thing. Uh, but you do have to make parts yourself. This one here, this is the telescope sights. And you've got to use a bit of plastic rod. 12 millimeters by, it says two millimeters here, but that can't be right, because it must be 0.2, because two millimeters by 12 would be a lot thicker than it should be. And it goes there. And as usual, see that transparent part that's have to be shaped and painted and all the things. And again, you got the different Mark One and Mark Two propellers, and that's the that's the guns which go on the side. I'll show you the reality of the kit itself, which I'm a little bit disappointed with. There's no hole for the spinner for the. Uh, to go in. There's a little bit of indentation but that's a little bit malformed as well that, that bit of plastic there. See? A bit malformed. And there's no actual hole all the way through. And there's no there's no uh, although you've got a hole this side as well there's no hole there's no st stick you know to put it through. It's the two propellers. They're a bit basic as well. I don't know why they bother to have that exposed because there's no screws show in there either. There's the boss to put on top of that propeller for the Mark 1. Um, also, what was I going to show you? Yeah, the guns, these for you. Now, although if you get a tele microscope on them, not a microscope, a magnifying glass, they are got some detail, but you can't really see that. See the detail, they're just like bits of, bits of rods of plastic. And they go in the side. The sides are a bit uh, softly moulded, in my opinion. There's no, you know, it's quite a round part of there to put in. Although you do get um, internal detail in the side of the canopy, uh, the canopy inside of the fuselage. Um, so this is, I mean, it's a mod modern modern build, but it's you got a little bit of sticking up. Eject a pin by there as well, that'll have to be scraped off. But it's one of those kits that's going to have to put some work into it. It's perfectly buildable, I'm sure. But you're going to have to make your own. Um, if you wanted the propeller to spin, you're going to have to make your own little axle or, or shaft for the for the uh, propeller. Get the drill out, and drilling and filling is going to be involved in this. Very much a dentist kit. 
lots of drilling and filling. So yeah, on, on the whole, it's the only 172 gauntlet I know about. And they show show this, but it isn't that is part isn't there as far as I know. So you might have to make that yourself as well. Some sort of a sighting thing, I think. You don't get a part for there either. No step. You make your own step on there. Doesn't even say to do it, but uh, you know the parts there, so you have to make it yourself. And also on the the wings, there's no holes. We are sans holes for the for the uh, struts to go into. So there are little marks here which you can identify where the holes are. There's one there and one there. But you don't have the holes yourself, so there's a lot of drilling again. But there are little receiving lugs there, um, pointing. Yeah, what's the word? Male parts of the of the structure to put in the in the. Uh, wings although you do have holes on the part there can't you can see it now focus isn't great there we are. I have to mention focus don't I there we go there's a little bit there look um, so it's a bit of a mixed bag uh, but if you want a Gloucester gauntlet in Mark II or indeed in Mark 1 this is the uh, kit to do and uh, so you, you don't get that part either <laughs> um, but uh, yeah slightly disappointing but um, as an effort and to, to have one available in the market then I can't really complain too much and uh, a little bit of extra work but if um, I say this was one for the experienced modeler really rather than the uh, beginner and I think you can make something out of it but there are some scratch building to do yourself even even that P2 tulip isn't there I don't think uh, so you've got to have some knowledge of the aircraft and what parts you're going to have to make yourself so there we are not to be too downbeat but uh, that's, that's so you can have a look at it and know what it's like inside the box all right it's quite cheap anyway so it's not uh, like you're going to lose much if you buy one. Alright, ta-da now. Take care.